Good evening, my friends. As you can see, I have a new setup, and I hope it makes for better viewing for you. It appears it would, I think. Um, and as promised, I'm going to be using a glue mix tonight. Here it is, and I'll also write it down below um, in the description. Using Artist Loft paints tonight. I use them uh, two parts PM to one part paint, plus water to thin with the exception of um, the white, which is the flow acrylic, that's about two and a, excuse me, one and a half parts PM to one part paint. I don't think I needed to add water. I'm not sure, but you want your consistency to be the same for all of them. So, um, and let me show you what that appears to be. Maybe this one will be good. Let me show you. You want it runny, but with body. Leaves a little ribbon for a half a second. <laughs> I'm going to just do a flip cup tonight on this little canvas. I'm just experimenting because it's been months, literally months, since I've done a pour with um, glue. <laughs> I've been busy with other things. I was in a play. That took up months of my life. And then I had a couple of uh, pet portrait commissions to do, which I have just finished. And then I got into the ready mix. So I haven't used glue in a long time. So <laughs> this is truly an experiment. I hope it works. If it doesn't, you're not going to see this video. I stirred in a lot. I, I used... Um, Approximately one drop of silicone per ounce of paint mix. And this is an 8, eight by 10 I think I mentioned that. Um, this is a 9 ounce cup, more than enough. Probably 7 ounces is plenty. I like to use maybe two layers of paint per color. Kind of like to go uh, light dark, or dark light, dark light, or whatever alternating those colors and I kind of like to start with dark because that's the last to come out and that you get a dark center and to me that's exciting. I'm easily excited <laughs> and pleased. Okay. I haven't done, as I said, a flip cup in a very long time. I've been doing these ring and drizzly things. So this is Quite fun. Eh, what the heck. Add it all. Pretty much all of it in there. I was so bummed I did a a pretty nice painting today, poor. With the deco art, not deco art, um, artist loft ready mix, it came out pretty cool, I think. And I, I was funny. It was very entertaining. You would have liked it. And um, in the process of editing it, I somehow deleted it and could not find it for the life of me. And I am too old to spend too much time trying to figure out where it went. So. I just am good with it. I'm okay. It's gone. But I still have the painting. Okay, so that's about uh, sufficient, I think. Let's see what happens. This is when I should... Well, I, I didn't tell you the colors. Light blue. Purple, but the purple I added a little, maybe an inch or two of metallic black to get the really lovely deep plum color. Oh, it's so pretty. And because the metallic black, it gives a little sheen to it. It's really nice. Uh, white, of course, and um, metallic cobalt blue. Layer those two layers again, two drops of silicone in, just in the blues. There's no rules. You could put them in all of them. Uh, you could put it in white. You know, a lot of people don't 
say no never no don't never don't do that <laughs> but uh, you certainly could no one's going to come and tell you not to and it'll work just fine all right let's let's do her one two three where's the purple we'll do kind of the ribbony thing in here I don't think I've ever done this color combo. I don't know how pretty it'll be, but you can't tell at this stage. You just can't tell. It's uh, it's gonna look completely different when it's when we're done with it. Some cells are popping up already. I'll I'll hit it with the torch. Woohoo! Look at those cells. Oh man, I got it's caterpillars though. I I haven't contended with those in a while since I haven't used silicone. I hate those guys. Ugh, there's a lot of them. Let's see if I can't suck them up. Got this thing at the dollar store. I guess it's a cake decorating deal. Squeeze the air out of it and suck up that caterpillar. Come on. Kind of turns into a flower. There's a lot of them here. Some of them will get tilted off. I'm not going to worry about that one. Oh, there's an ugly one. Look at the cells. Wow. Let's try to get rid of this one. I don't know. I may have just reconfigured it. I'm out of practice. I, I think uh, another device, like a needle, would be good. There's a, but I really don't like them. Because to me, depending, especially depending on the color, they look too um, anatomical. For me, I don't like it. Oh, like that. There's a one there. Oh, that's really hideous. But that guy's going to get tilted off. Okay. That's a mess of cells. That's almost too many. I like negative space myself. But let's see. Let's see how it goes when I tilt. I like the little white ones. They're pretty. See, I didn't put any in the white. I didn't put it in the purple. And I got... <laughs> I got lavender cells. Go figure. I'm going to get rid of that caterpillar thing there. Uh, this is... This is just an experiment to get back in the swing of, of my glue mix. And uh, silicone. I should try my ring and ribbon thing with the glue mix with no silicone and see I imagine it would work just fine I don't think I was doing that when I was pouring with glue I think it was just something I stumbled on using the uh, ready mix Mm -hmm. Oh, I think this is much better for you, the view, certainly, than it was when you were way over there. <laughs> hmm. Well, I think that was too much silicone for this tiny little um, canvas. That's too many cells for me. Some of you may really like that. Sorry about the glare. Let's see if I can move this hot light out of the way. Oh, I don't know. I'm really so inept at technical stuff. I don't know how to do the lighting where 
works well. I should play with that some more. Is that that's too dark? I don't know. Well, anyway, um, there you have it. I mean, it's very reactive. This this recipe <laughs> is very reactive to cells. I can't think of, well, now wait a minute. Since it's just a practice piece, how about if I do my old drizzle? <laughs> That'll be my, my nickname, the drizzle kid. I mean, this is just a practice piece, so who cares, right? Who cares if I ruin it? And... You know, maybe it'll add some cool dimension, which is what I like. I like how it looks over that dark, dark purple. That's pretty neat. I need some dark over here. Let's do this. Let's add a little purple to what's left in the cup and drizzle that over the lighter area. See, there's method to my madness. Here it comes. Hmm. Interesting. Well, since I don't know how to bring you down to the canvas, I'll bring the canvas up to you. Talk about cells. There they are. Okay. Short and sweet. Um, let me know what you think. And... Uh, if you have any requests, I will uh, do my best to to accommodate you. <laughs> okay, folks. Have a great evening. Happy pouring. Until next time. Bye-bye.